I decided to give you a closer look on the back of how exactly my hair looks like. I really don't have dandruff, just a dry scalp, hence the flakes. Dandruff usually has yellow flakes, but a dry scalp has white flakes, as you shall see from the illustration of this. And I also decided to document this for the purposes of a before and after washing. I didn't really give a close look or a good one on this side but the other side of my head gives a really beautiful view you will see the flakes very easily as you can see there they are on the roots of my braids they look so bad so dirty and i think i had had enough of this in a lot of five months and i decided well it is what it is i'm getting rid of it on the front i realized that my scalp has started turning black on that particular spot i believe you can see it leave me a comment if you know exactly what is going on around that section because not only did it turn black there but also this other side of my head and i was really scared i was like if this is a disease that comes from dryness i don't want it to happen and this is a front look of how it all looks like and now let's get an after one eternity later my face was really drenched and this is me i didn't tie my hair with anything and i know the back of my hair and the back of my that braid looks like they have soap or they're dirty because i was tired of the shower i had stayed there for almost an hour washing my hair because i wash it very thoroughly and very carefully but i was just living and loving the edges and it's because my it's my first time actually recording myself after i left the shower i was a bit too excited but i loved everything about washing my hair it felt fresh it smelled nice my shampoo was really sweet it was very stunning this is how my hair is looking after i dressed i did not part dry or put anything on my head i just went to my room dressed and then came out i didn't touch my hair i didn't dry it in and any towel i just came out and this is how it looks like my hair was really dripping at the back that is a healthy sign it means that i don't have very low porosity i have good porosity and that is my hair basically after i left the shower not the shower but after i finished dressing a back view of it a side view of it and also a front view of it and i loved how it turned out after i finished dressing what's up everyone and welcome or welcome back to my channel if you're new here be sure to subscribe give this video a thumbs up and tap on the notification bell on today's episode i finally washed my hair after five months of not washing it, believe it or not, and it's kind of dripping. Can you can see? It's dripping. I know my face is a mess. Why did I decide to wash my hair after five months of not washing it? Let's get into it. So the first thing is that I was supposed to wash my hair after six months, but then I folded and I washed it today. Well, it's five months and two weeks, so it was just remaining two weeks for it to hit six months. I wanted this to be a challenge, that's the first thing. I wanted this to be a challenge, but now it didn't actually turn out as I had expected. Ignore my very ashy face. I know it looks something else. Second thing is because I, I had a hair oil that I was DIYing from, the pre, from this video, and this hair oil didn't turn out as I expected it to turn out on my hair. It didn't really do what it was supposed to do. My hair was looking very flaky and very dry. I was feeling some type of way and as you have seen, my the sides of my hair were starting to come out in such a way that they were turning black. So I was wondering, well, if I don't wash my hair, what will happen? Two weeks before today, I washed my braids and that really did something on reducing the itching of my hair because I literally was not itching for the past two weeks I've not itched my hair it's been so good it's been so fresh uh, because I washed my hair in ACV and this video tells you how exactly I did everything from the start to the finish but what I did wash was my hair I just washed the braids when I removed them 
then reinstalled them but I didn't wash my hair but today I decided I'm washing my scalp I'm washing my hair I'm washing everything to get rid of the hair oil that has been accumulating for the past five months and you know start afresh and look good I was actually very scared because I thought that we build up you know like on the roots there'd be whitish stuff and I've not really um this is water this is not that this is water so my hair is actually not dried. I'll show you how I'm going to dry it because I have my towel right here. I'm showing, I'm going to show you how I dry out my hair. I'm not going to just tie it around my head, no, because there's a middle face of my hair. I'm going to show you how my hair looks exactly after I have just unraveled it and I'm just about to dry it. I also wanted to see if actually my scalp had gotten clean and as you can see from the sections that I'm going to show you, you will clearly, not clearly, but at least you'll see there is no particles of dirt that comes from it. So mission accomplished. I did a good and thorough clean that was very effective for my head. So this is how I'm going to dry out my hair. From the middle, going back. From the middle, from the middle, you massage it in. Yeah, I've not dried my hair since I left the shower. So I start from the middle. As I come down, as I come back, like so, dry your entire hair, including the braids themselves. And three, the reason I finally decided to quit this challenge is because there was a funky smell that started when my hair was four months. And I was like, hmm, what is this? So I uninstalled my braids, I washed them, but it still didn't go away. Then I realized that it is actually my hair that was not smelling quite good. So I said, well, I'm not just going to leave it smelling funky. So I decided to wash it. And let me tell you, my shampoo, I used two kinds of shampoo, tell me. But this Mikala left my hair smelling like bubble gum. It smells so fresh and so nice. I was in love. I was obsessed. I'm in love. I'm obsessed. I liked it. It smells so good. So I'm sure it will leave my hair smelling better. Better. And last but not least, the after wash look. I was really anticipating for this because I haven't um, slept without a bonnet for the past two weeks. Is it two weeks or one for the first one week? I was I used this one first. This is Olive Marvel. Yeah, as you can see, it's Olive Marvel. It's a two-in-one shampoo. I used two this twice on my hair. And then I washed the first time, then the second. Then I also used Mikala. Now the person who was selling me this Mikala told me that it is both a shampoo and conditioner. If that is true, please tell me down in the comments because. I don't think so. I don't think so. Okay, it's good. It does really leave. It left my hair feeling very smooth. But I don't really know if it is actually a shampoo and conditioner or I need to buy a separate conditioner. It is actually your pillowcase and the blanket that you use on duvet that actually creates some sort of build up on your hair. But once you sleep in a bonnet, there won't be sorts of blah blah blah. I mean, when this part of your hair down here has some sort of whitish ring, that whitish ring is not actually dark, it's actually the materials that make up the blanket or your pillowcase that actually leave those particular whitish stuff. So the whitish stuff are the small fragment particles, like when a cloth is old or it has been washed so much, it starts producing smallish balls, balls that um, when on your hair, they just stick onto the roots and when you're taking it down, it might not, it might damage your hair and it might actually cause a lot of breakage. And I got this amount of um, hair. This is what I got, or rather what I was able to get. <laughs> I know it's not much. This is what was lost rather, what I lost after washing my hair. I washed my hair in sections, four sections to be precise, and I decided that, well, I'm gonna wash it in four sections so that I get every single bit. So I divided my hair into four, parted it in the middle, then divided it into two on each side. Then this 
happened. You see this? <laughs> what is dying my hair is actually not um, a hairband or a ponytail. It's actually a hair braid. Believe it or not, as I was washing my hair, one of the braids just gave in <laughs> to the pressure. Oh wow, it smells nice. And out it came. <laughs> ah, it's, it's here somewhere. But anything, this white stuff was from the previous washing. Not washing, but this white stuff was from prior that. This is now the blanket before I started using a bonnet. I started using a bonnet a week ago and here I washed my hand. Look at how it looks. Very stunning. I'm just going to give you guys a look of how my scalp is. I hope it's clean, right? This is the black stuff I was feeling it was forming. Like my scalp started becoming black. I'm gonna attach this one. Um, today, of course, today, then I will show you guys how my hair looks. But that is why I finally decided to wash my hair after five months of not washing it. And two weeks from today, that is apparently on July 28th, I'm going to take out my six month old braids. Ooh, yes, this one's a six months. A turning six months in two weeks. Thank you so much for watching. Subscribe. Tap on the notification button if you still haven't. Give this video a thumbs up. Thank you so much, guys, for liking my, liking my videos and sharing and commenting. It is so nice when I get my weekly report on my weekly analytics. And I feel like, guys, and it's great. It's great. Let's get to 1,000 subscribers before the end of July. Thank you so much for watching. And I'll see you in the next one. Ciao. <laughs>